Hey y'all, this Battle Means by Omari coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna pretty much go over why I think the old design of Brawly is a million times better than his new one. Okay, we all know Brawly is not an ordinary Saiyan. There's a lot of differences in him from when he was born. He is the legendary Super Saiyan. That's a big factor in his character design. Mm -hmm. The minute you first see him, the first thing you ask is, why is he dressed like that? I mean, he's a Saiyan, right? Then why isn't he dressed as a Saiyan? There's definitely something eerie about this guy. He's, he's dressed like royalty almost. And that's a major factor in his design. And that was, that's what makes him stand out from every other Saiyan. And then you get into his face design. I mean, his eyes look spaced out. They, he looks de like he's depressed almost like he's sad in the face and that fits his character because you know he's so suppressed right now under control like he's on some kind of drug by his father keeping him under control I mean, you literally see that the guy is suffering and it makes you have some kind of empathy for Brawley in a way now I'm not saying released he's not a raging maniac but his base design is basically perfect to what he's been through in his life and basically being suppressed and drugged in a way to where he can't be himself basically and you have this new brawly who <laughs> basically is another goku face put on a template looks just like goku just like every other saiyan he looks like he could have been hanging out with nappa and raditz i mean he looks like a regular ass saiyan with a choker on there's nothing special about him there's nothing legendary about him he just looks like a a saiyan a regular ass saiyan and not much thought went into this design i mean people like it because he has scars and stuff i mean that's cool but so what <laughs> he has a few scars yamcha has scars big deal it's it's just not it's not appealing to what brawley was supposed to be in other words, it doesn't stand out. It doesn't It doesn't say legendary. It doesn't say this guy is different. There's something about this guy. Nothing, it just, it's, it's plain. And that just doesn't work for what Brawley was supposed to be. And I didn't really want to compare their um, ultimate legendary Super Saiyan forms because it's basically the same shit. They're both gonna be shirtless and bulky in Super Saiyan. It's basically the same thing. Although I do think the OG Brawley's outfit is still better as a legendary Super Saiyan. But that scene in the new trailer where Brawley was raising up with the red eyes, man, that shit was dope. <laughs> I cannot front on that. That shit looked hard. It, it, he definitely got some evil shit going on with him. That He definitely looked like he's come to do some damage, that's for sure. So yeah, for the record, this is not my my thought on the movie itself we all know the movie is not out yet i don't know if it's going to be good or bad i'm hoping it's good i'm hoping that they give more background to brawley because we all know his original background isn't very enticing on why he's so angry and at goku and things like that in this one i'm not sure if he even knows who goku is but you know this is this is strictly on brawley's design that's it so let me know in the comment sections what you think is the best design for Brawly. As a uh, character designer myself, this is my unbiased, truthful opinion. I just think the OG one is better. All right, don't forget to like and comment. See you on the next video.